Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to study some important formulas in the topic wind energy. So following is the list of formulae. First, total power of wind stream. Second, axial force. Third, steady flow work. Fourth, maximum power. Five, maximum theoretical efficiency. Now we will move for the first formula. First is total power of wind stream. So how to measure this total power of wind stream? So that is equal to incoming kinetic energy of the stream. So for this incoming kinetic energy, we will use here the suffix I. So what is the kinetic energy? So we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. So here we are referring the word power. So for this power instead of m, that is the mass of air, we have to re refer here mass flow rate of the air. That is m dot. So we can use here the formula m dot into half into instead of v we will use here incoming velocity of air that is v i square. And here we have to use here the conversion factor that is the g c. So here g c we have to take here as a 1 kilogram and it's a unit is also we will use it here as a newton second square. So here is the formula that is m dot v i square by 2 g c. Now what is this mass flow rate of air? So mass flow rate of air we will use here rho a v i. What is the rho? That is the density of air a that is the area through which the wind is passing and then v i that is the incoming velocity. So now when we put here m dot is equal to rho a v i what is the final formula for the total power of the wind stream. So p total is equal to 1 upon 2 g c rho a v i q. So this is the final formula. Now we come to know that this total power in the wind stream cannot be converted into the mechanical power when we use for the conversion wind turbine. So we know that this total power in the wind stream is getting converted into the mechanical power with the help of the wind turbine. So for that we will consider a turbine for a thickness A to B. So when the wind passes through this turbine, then what is happening that is there is the incoming velocity or incoming air, then it passes through this thickness A to B and then there is the exit of this air. So we will study this with the help of these two diagrams. So what is the pressure and velocity for the incoming air? So for this incoming air, we will use here the suffix I. So pressure will become Pi and the velocity will become Vi. Now what is the thickness of this turbine wheel? So here A to B. So here first line will indicate the suffix A and the second line will indicate the suffix B. So here the pressure will become Pa to Pb and velocity will become Va to Vb while it is passing through this turbine wheel. And then at the exit point, we will say here the suffix E for exit. So pressure will become PE and the velocity will become VE. So if we observe this, what is happening? This is the ambient pressure line and this is the ambient velocity line. So ambient pressure here at point A, this pressure is getting increased and as it passes through this turbine wheel, there is the sharp decrease in the pressure. So we will say that this is the pressure drop. So this is PA to PB. And then again this pressure is getting regained after some distance from this turbine wheel. And again it will become equal to the ambient pressure that is at PE. Now in the same way if we observe what is the effect of velocity of the air while passing through the turbine. At this initial point or the incoming air this velocity is more than this ambient velocity. Then as it passes through this turbine field, the velocity is getting decreased and here there is no short, sh sharp decrease but there is small decrease in the velocity and again here at this point the velocity or at the exit point here is the velocity VE. Now we will write what is the energy equation. So how we can write here, so there is the relation in between pressure and velocity. So this is the pressure and this is the velocity. So while air is passing through this turbine, 
there is the change in the pressure as well as change in velocity so what is the energy equation so we can write here piv that is pressure of incoming air into v here small v is there that is the specific volume plus vi square so here is a capital v that is this velocity vi vi square by 2gc which is equal to now this incoming air while passing through this turbine wheel it first strikes at this thickness a so here at this point a we will write here pav plus va square by 2gc so this is the relation for pi and pa so this is the equation in between i and a now what is this small v small v is the specific volume and this specific volume if we take here the reciprocal of this specific volume we will get the density rho so we will take here the reciprocal of this specific volume so how to take on both side we will divide here by v so when we divide here by v how this equation will become that is pi plus 1 upon v vi square by 2gc which is equal to pa plus 1 upon v va square by 2gc and what is this 1 upon v that is equal to rho so this is our final formula that is pi plus rho vi square by 2gc which is equal to pa plus rho va square by 2gc so this is the formula in between i and a now in the same way we can write the formula in between this b and e so what is the formula instead of i we have to write here as a p so p plus rho v square by 2gc which is equal to pb plus rho vb square by 2gc so here is the this is equation number one and this is the equation number two so when we take the difference at pressure a and b because here is the pressure drop so what is this pressure drop that is p a minus p b so we will take equation 1 minus 2 and we will take the remaining terms so we will shift these terms to the left hand side so what is the final formula so p a minus p b is equal to p i plus rho v i square minus p a square by 2 g c minus p e plus rho v e square minus v b square by 2 g c now when we observe this structure that at point e at this point e if we observe this PE, that is the pressure at the exit, which is equal to PI, that is the pressure of air at the entrance. So instead of this PE, we can write here as a PI, then this PI and this PE, because PE is equal to PI, so this PI and PE is getting cancelled. In the same way, velocity at point A and velocity at point B, so there is no sharp decrease within this turbine wheel because this thickness of this turbine is so much small or this is there is not much thickness so the velocity there is no change in the velocity so we can take here va is equal to vb so when we put here va is equal to vb then this va and vb is also getting cancelled so what is the final formula so pa minus pb is equal to rho vi square minus v square by 2gc so this is the formula for the pressure drop within the turbine wheel or within the thickness of this turbine so this is the formula so we have to make the bracket so this is this formula is useful while solving the problems now we will move for the next formula that is the axial force so what is this axial force so axial force that is the force in the direction of wind stream on the turbine wheel with projected area perpendicular to the stream so there may be the question for the calculation of axial force so how to calculate this axial force so here fx is equal to this pressure difference that is pressure difference between in between this turbine wheel or within the thickness of this turbine field multiplied by area a so this pa minus pb multiplied by we have to take area a so what is this pa minus pb so rho vi square minus v square by 2gc so we can take here vi square minus v square by 2gc and rho into a so this is the formula so we can use this formula also or we can simplify this now how to simplify this vi square 
minus b square that is it is in the form of a square minus b square so we can write a plus b a minus b so how we can write this we can write this vi plus ve and vi minus ve but vi plus ve divided by 2 we can take here as a vt so instead of this vi plus ve divided by 2 is equal to vt so when we put here as a vt then what is the formula so here 2 is already available so what is the final formula fx is equal to 1 by gc rho a vt vi minus ve so this is the form final formula to cal for the calculation of axial force so this formula we can use for the calculation of axial force now we will move for the next that is the steady flow work w so what is the steady flow work w so how to calculate this that is it is the difference between incoming kinetic energy and kinetic energy at the exit that is kei minus kee so what is this kei minus kee that is it is the difference in between velocities that is the incoming velocity and exit velocity that is vi square minus ve square divided by 2gc so we know that what is kei so here vi square by 2gc so from this also we can take this formula and kee -E means ve square by 2gc so we can combine this because the denominator is same that is vi square minus ve square by 2gc so this is the formula for steady flow work now we will move for the calculation of maximum power. So maximum power means what? So whatever the power available in this wind stream, how much maximum or how it is getting converted into the mechanical work by this turbine. So how that maximum that we have to find out the maximum power that can be converted into the mechanical power from this total power. So this total power is important because this power is available in the incoming wind stream. And from this by using this turbine field we have to convert it into the mechanical power. And how to find out this maximum power. So for that if we observe here is the steady flow work. And the rate of this work is called as power. So how to find out this rate of power? That means for rate of power we have to multiply here the mass flow rate. So what is the mass flow rate? That is the m dot. So we have to take for the power that is m dot into w. So this is the w and for this formula we have to multiply here as a m dot that is the mass flow rate. So we can also use here rho avi or simply we can multiply here as a m dot. And now we have to find out the maximum power. So when this power will become maximum. So when we differentiate this P with respect to VE. That is the velocity at the exit. And when it is equal to 0 then P will become equal to P max. So here dou P by dou VE is equal to 0 then P is equal to P max. So when we simplify this, so uh, there is no, derivation is not important. So we will finally say this is the formula P max is equal to 8 by 27 GC rho A V I Q. So this is the formula for the maximum power. Now we will move for the maximum theoretical efficiency. So for this maximum theoretical efficiency means what? So for this efficiency we have to take this maximum power that is that can be converted from the incoming kinetic energy to the mechanical power that is the maximum power divided by what is the available power in the wind stream that is P total. So this P max by P total is equal to maximum theoretical efficiency. Now when we put here this value so what will be the value here? So if we observe 8 by P max means what? 8 by 27 GC rho A V I Q. And here P total is equal to 1 by 2 GC rho A V I Q. So if we observe from
from the numerator and denominator this row a v i cube row a v i cube is getting cancer in the same way this g c g c is also getting cancer so what is remaining here 8 by 27 divided by 1 by 2 so now this 1 by 2 we can take here so which is equal to i will write here 8 by 27 divided by 1 by 2 so i can write here i will take this to the above that is 2 by 1 so it will become finally 16 by 27 so this will be the maximum efficiency